Hello. Before we move on to study about the evidence of quantization of the electronic energy levels, let us just solve two more numericals on the duality of electromagnetic radiations. I've chosen two problems today. The first one is the threshold frequency nu naught for a metal is 7 into 10 to the power 14 per second. You have to calculate the kinetic energy of an electron emitted when the radiation of frequency nu is equal to 1 into 10 to the power 15 per second hits the metal. We are expected to calculate the kinetic energy. The formula we have is that H nu is equal to H nu naught plus half MeV square where H nu is the energy of the incident radiation in photoelectric effect. H nu naught is the amount of energy that is required to the energy of the photon that is required to cause the photoelectric effect. So if H nu is the total energy, then some of that energy is used to extract the electron and the remaining energy becomes the kinetic energy of the photoelectron produced. So we are expected to calculate this kinetic energy of the photoelectron produced. And we've been given both nu and nu naught. Nu naught is 7 into 10 to the power 14 per second and nu is 1 into 10 to the power 15 per second. So if we rearrange this equation, what do we get? We get half MeV square, which we are expect we are we want to find out, would be equal to H nu minus nu naught. So we've just rearranged the equation. So let us now substitute the values. H is Planck's constant, which is equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. Nu is given to us is 1.0 into 10 to the power 15 per second minus 7 into 0 0.0 into 10 to the power 14 per second. Now, if the exponents are different here, the 10 is to the power of 15 and here the 10 is to the power of 14. We can carry out calculations only if both the powers are the same. So let us do that, make them the same. This would be equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into, let us make this, turn this into 10 to the power 14. So this would become 10, so 1 power of 10 lessens by increasing the shifting the decimal to the right into 10 to the power 14 per second minus 7 Point zero into 10 to the power 14 per second. So 10 to the power 14 and 10 to the power 14 is the same. Therefore the calculation is 10 minus 7 into 10 to the power 14. So this would be equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into 10 minus 7 is 3. Let us put these in brackets to make it. 3 into 10 to the power 14 per second. Now per second and second would get cancelled. So the answer that we get would be in joules. So what would this be equal to? It would be equal to 1.988 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. And this is the kinetic energy of the photoelectron half MeV squared the kinetic energy of the photoelectron ejected. The electron emitted would have this kinetic energy. So this was the first problem. Let us now move to the next problem. You have to calculate the wavelength, the frequency and wave number of a light wave whose period is given to us. The period is the amount of time a wave takes to make one crest and one trough. That is, if we have a wave, we have a crest and a trough, and then the wave comes back to the mean position. This distance is known as wavelength, and the time a wave spends to cover one wavelength is known as its period. 
the amount of time that is required for the wave to cross a wavelength. The wavelength can also be calculated as the distance between two, tru uh, two uh, troughs uh, or two crests. The wavelength is, can be the distance between two crests or two troughs or it is the distance between the beginning of one crest and the end of one trough that is for one complete wave and period is the amount of time that that wave takes to move from and um, one complete wave takes so what is frequency frequency is the number of waves that the particular um, the substance makes or the wave how many times does it cross in one second so if this is the amount of time the period is this then frequency should be one because in one second how many uh, how much time it takes for one uh, wave so one second frequency can be described as one second divided by the period that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 seconds should give you the frequency in one second how many times will it pass it takes this much time to pass once so in one second if we divide it by that it will give us the uh, the frequency so this is equal to frequency could be calculated and this is comes to be equal to 5.0 into 10 to the power 9 per second that's the frequency now you have to calculate the wavelength to calculate the wavelength we know the we use the formula c is equal to nu lambda therefore lambda would be equal to c by nu c is the speed of light so what is the speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second is the speed of light and frequency we just calculated is 5 into 10 to the power 9 second inverse the second inverse second inverse get cancelled and you will get the wavelength in meters so when you calculate this this comes to be equal to 6.0 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters am i clear so this is 6.0 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters what's the next part of the question what is wave number wave number as we know is represented by nu bar and it is the inverse of wavelength therefore we calculated the wavelength now using this inverse of wavelength means 1 upon wavelength is wave number so 1 upon 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters would be the wave number the unit for wave number would be the inverse of the unit for wavelength so it will be meter inverse since the unit for wavelength is meter this would be meter inverse and when we calculate this this comes to be equal to 16.6 6 meter inverse 16.66 meter inverse so that's the wave number so these were two numericals that I wanted to discuss with you before we proceed with the topic and we study about quantization practice as many numericals as you can they really do help and thank you for watching Please keep returning for more videos on chemistry. Bye-bye.